Welcome. On behalf of Independence LED Lighting, I'm pleased to present this energy saving calculation. Quick tip 101 file. Here's the presentation goal to provide you with calculation information and mental math. Quick tips identify in the field energy costs plus LED savings without relying on proposal software packages. How much does it cost to run a light bulb, fluorescent tube, or any light source for a year? If you don't already know the formula, quickly calculate the answers, then we hope that this presentation adds some value. Good to know info for energy professionals. Maybe you're a VAR, maybe you're an ESCO, electrical contractor, or a property owner or manager. Facility, energy and sustainability directors, operating officers, all can benefit. To calculate the operating electricity cost, here is what you need to memorize. Watts times hours divided by 1,000 times the cost per kilowatt hour. Okay, we'll start with an example outside of lighting to help you remember the calculation. Let's think of fuel cost to drive your car to work for a year. Energy use times the amount of use times the cost of energy. So you need to know the fuel consumption, that's miles per gallon how many miles you drive in a year, and the average cost of what you pay for a gallon of gasoline. For lighting, it's basically the same. We're talking about needing to know the fuel consumption, that's watts, how many hours the lights are on in a year, and the average cost that you pay for a kilowatt hour. For lighting, don't forget the K. Remember that we all pay for electricity in kilowatt hours, not watt hours. We have to divide out the thousand. There are a thousand meters in a kilometer and a thousand watts in a kilowatt. Here's the tip. Break the formula into two parts. Watts times hours over a thousand equals your KWH. Your KWH times the cost per KWH equals your energy cost. Here's an example bulb scenario. Think of a hundred watt incandescent bulb. When in office at 12 hours a day, five days a week rounded to 3,000 hours a year. If we use the US average of 11 cents per kilowatt hour, we're talking about 100 watts times the 3,000 divided by 1,000 equals 300 annual kilowatt hours. Now, the mental math tip. You can multiply watts times hours and then divide the sum by 1,000, or you can divide the watts by 1,000 and then multiply by the hours. We've found that it's much easier to divide the hours by a thousand and then multiply by watts. So now you have 100 times three, that gets you the 300 annual AWH. Here's an additional mental math tip. Once you have the annual kilowatt hours, you're now ready to multiply by the cost per unit. Well, if you start with 10 cents per kilowatt hour, it's much easier to take off a decimal than to do the full calculation so you will get in range very quickly. In this case, with 300 kilowatt hours at 11 cents, it's 33, or with 300 at 10 cents, it's $30. That at least gives you the range. And then once you have the exact kilowatt cost per the facility or your client, you can run the numbers, but at least you've got in the right order of magnitude a number to work with. Now, saving on an incandescent bulb. The formula is exactly the same for savings as it is for consumption. For watts, just use the watts saved versus the watts used. 100W incandescent less 10W LED is 90 watts saved over the same 3,000 hours. You're talking about with the mental math, 90 times 3. That's 270 annual kilowatt hours saved. You're talking about saving $27 per bulb per year. Awesome. Okay, savings on CFL bulbs. You've probably changed a whole lot of the incandescents to CFLs. For 100 watts, that's typically down to 18 watt CFL. We can bring it down to just 10 watts with the LEDs. Well, 18 minus 10 leaves you 8 watts saved. Using the old mental math here now with the 3,000 hours, you're at 3 times that is 24 kilowatt hours saved. And at 10 cents, you're talking about saving $2.40. Some of the bulbs only cost that much with the new LED technology. That means you get your money back in the very first year and they're gonna last for well over a decade. Here's an example tube scenario. Okay, 32 watt, 
Very common. Four foot T8 fluorescent tubes, over two billion of them in American ceilings. 12 hours in an office per day, five days per week, rounded to the 3,000 hours. Now, 32 watts times the 3,000 divided by the 1,000 gets you that 96 kilowatt hours. This is that same mental math tip where you can use the division of the 1,000 on hours versus the total sum. Makes it much faster. Okay, the additional mental math tip, also similar as before, is start with the 10 cents. If you're at 96 kilowatt hours and it's 11 cents, you have to do the math at $10.56. If you use 10 cents, $9.60. Obviously, when you write a full proposal or do the deeper calculation, you want to be precise. But we like to just use 10 as a quick round number. Think of the fluorescent tube as costing on average about $10 per year in a typical office. Okay, savings on the fluorescent tubes. Well now, you go from 32 watts down to a 12 watt LED, and you're saving 20 watts over the same 3,000 hours with the mental math now. 20 times three, pretty easy, that's 60. You're talking about 60 annual kilowatt hours saved at 10 cents, that's six dollars per tube every year for probably well over a decade. Think forward and start saving. We bring you energy intelligence. With LEDs, they're now more cost effective than ever. What are you waiting for?